Hey, it is time to step into spring with confidence and flair. But how do you do yeah. that? By building a stylish and versatile wardrobe. Grant Alexander, founder of House of Style, and G. Alexander joins us now to share a few tips. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. So glad to be back. It's so weird to transition into spring wardrobes in Chicago because they have one day where it's in the 70s and then yeah. we're back to the 30s again. Absolutely. It's tough. Yeah. So what are some of the first steps we want to do to make that transition? When I think about transitioning, I always go back to layering. And people usually think about layering when it comes to fall or winter. Yeah. I think spring is the most interesting time to layer. It's a chance and opportunity to mix fabrics, styles, textures. And so think about it along the lines of mixing a chunky sweater with a floral dress or skirt. Oh. It gives you a, a way to kind of mix the two. Mm -hmm. And when you think about layering, always keep a jacket, whether it's in the car or yes. with you or on you. You can take the jacket off, off but, but you can't put it but, on if you don't have right. it. Right. And like last week and the week before when it was 70 and then, then you know, a few hours later, it's 40. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference having the jacket. Yeah. All right. So you also talk about cleaning out your closet. Is that what we're going to see in our first look? Um, uh, we're talking a few different, you know, things when okay. it comes okay. to just but pairing and looks, building yeah. the base. All right. Okay. Aaron, step on out. So oh, shoes. our first look is I, I'm big on swapping fabrics okay. in spring. So mm -hmm. anything that uh, you could wear a blue or black jean, mm -hmm. I want people to try something else. Wear a gray trouser, wear, wear burgundy. Aaron's wearing burgundy because burgundy is one of the main colors you're gonna start seeing okay. this spring. And another thing we saw on the runway was athletic prep. Mm -hmm. And so polo started coming back. And this is my take on the polo. It's called a popover. Okay. It's really versatile. And adding the jacket, it's, it's lightweight. It works for so many different is temperatures. It it's a linen wool blend. Okay, got it. Mm. Which makes it really interesting, breathable. Mm -hmm. And just these color combinations together really work for the spring and summer and fall and winter. So it really becomes a year round outfit. Oh, okay. the shoes. I do too. They look like he's the wearing shoes, wooden shoes. Yeah. I, the, so that's called the patina on the shoe. When okay. you see that kind of brush stroke, it yeah. shows that it's, it's hand painted, it's handmade. And that's what shows quality and something that's really beautiful and going to last a long time. Mm -hmm. And those are, it's a double monk strap. So you don't have to worry about, you know, tying a shoe. You just, yeah. you know, Slide buckle them and, and it, it's awesome. Up. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, okay. I love that. Okay. All right, well, thank you. All right, so what's, this must looks like a must have for spring to me. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So any dress like this, any midi dress that's just flattering and fits well, should be a staple in a spring wardrobe. And pairing it with a cute bag and having the denim jacket with it. Denim jackets are so versatile. Yeah. They're one of the, I call them the hero jackets that everybody should have. Mm, a trench, mm. a colorful bomber, or a denim jacket. They just add to any piece. And so you can wear this casually. You can dress it up to go out. You can toss yeah. a blazer on top of this. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. So it was like the shoes and the accessories made it so much more dressy. Yes, yes. exactly. And okay. because the dress inherently is a little more casual, uh -huh. but it's, uh, those accessories, like you said, they do really pull it up and elevate it. So you have the patent leather mm -hmm. so that shine on the shoe and the bag is so sleek, the, the lines cool. on it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. All the lines really work together. The lines of the bag, the shoe, and the lines of the dress with all the pleats. It's really beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Understand but pretty and noticeable jewelry Absolutely. too. I like that too. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. All right. So uh, this next look, uh, trench, you know, kind of trench. Trench is one of my favorite spring staples forever and ever. Yep. And we saw a lot of them on the runways recently. Uh, and the bigger and more dramatic is what you're seeing from a trend perspective. I always go back to pick what fits best. Okay. Mm. But the trend, the trench just it works for so many different outfits. You can. She has a t-shirt on underneath. Yeah. It's your oh. way to dress up a t-shirt. And again, instead of going with a blue jean or, or something that you might go regularly, uh -huh. a satin nice pants. pants. This yeah. really yeah. pretty satin pants in the champagne color. Mm. And paired together, it dresses up the t-shirt. The and the t-shirt's uh, a shade of blue that you'll see this spring a lot. We saw a lot of icy blues and light blues. So doing it in a t-shirt or as a base layer is a great way to incorporate some of the colorful yeah. trends mm. rather than diving full in and full in and investing in a statement piece that you might not wear as often. Okay, talking about investing, if you don't have a lot of money to spend but you want to update your wardrobe, what are your few key items that you should actually invest in? Yeah, so again, it's that hero jacket. Okay. It's the jacket that's going to be your go-to spring staple that will elevate all the essentials and take any outfit from zero to hero just by putting it on. Okay. So that's one thing. Another way that costs nothing, 
go to a friend's place, swap clothes with your oh, friends. Oh, People that... don't think of their friends as a resource, yeah. but you know, my wife and her friends, they switch clothes once in a while, and okay. I thought more and more about that. Why don't more people do that? Yeah, why it's don't an they? easy way, it's kind of like thrifting. Go thrifting, it's better for the environment, okay. and it's a way to save on money. Yeah. All right. And what about if you're trying to clean out your closet just in general? Yeah. How do you figure out what Hard. goes and what stays? So most importantly is fit in what you believe in to be right now. Your closet is prime real estate, so if there are items that aren't doing it for you and paying rent in style or mm. joy, yeah. mm -hmm. get rid of them. Mm. If it's something that's nostalgic, put it in a memory box or take photos, tuck them away as a keepsake. And if it's something that doesn't fit, and this one is, I'm no. so passionate about it, mm -hmm. stop keeping it in the closet. We'll fit into it someday. Exactly, <laughs> and, and that's fine, but wherever you're at right now, be realistic for that. Them hanging in your closet, doesn't, it doesn't lead itself to be a happy reminder every time you look at it yeah. thinking, I can't wear it. Mm -hmm. Put them aside, put them in a box, you don't have to get rid of them because you still can get to that make room for what fits your lifestyle right, right now. now. Makes it easier yes. to see because you can get dressed Absolutely. faster in the morning too. Mm -hmm. These are great. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, G Alexander, but that's A-L-X-N-D-R.com is where you can get more with grants, uh, some more ideas. We love it. We love this so brooch cute. too. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thank you.